So in this video, I'm going to explain about the menus inside Jupyter Notebook. As you can see that we have an empty Jupyter Notebook file here. So I'm going to come here and double click to rename it. I'm going to rename it test and click rename. Now here, I'm going to just write a few codes. Let's say welcome equal to hi and well to this course and then print I'm gonna write we and then press tab to complete the variable so here I can click on one I can just click on run cells or I can just go and press uh, control enter to run the cell or shift enter to run the cell in what add a new cell so here i'm going to write and or press shift enter so what does shift enter did that it ran the code and added the co another cell for me an empty cell okay so i'm going to create another variable here called goodbye equal thanks for watching I'm going to come here and print shift enter and now I have two variables welcome and goodbye now these are the menu file edit view insert cell kernel widgets help and the first one which is the file here I can click and add a new notebook other rather than it was python or r for me it's showing r because I already installed the r kernel but for you or for this course you don't have to so here you can click on new notebook and you will see only this python tree ipy kernel you can click on it and it's going to open a new jupyter file for you here if you have an existing jupyter notebook for example once you get the jupyter notebook files for this course you can just put it in your directory and click on file and then open and then choose the same file that you want to open and it will open for you you can also make a copy of this file you can also save this file uh, usually i'm going to press ctrl s or by default if you guys can see it's free, it's here auto save so by default if you just leave the jupyter notebook for a few seconds it will auto save for you but you can also come here and you click on save a checkpoint which is from here save a checkpoint and here you can see the latest checkpoint that it saved which is the auto save so by default the jupyter notebook is already going to save it for you but if you want to save it by yourself just to make sure you can press ctrl s or command s if you're using mac or you can just come here and click on the floppy icon here and it will save it for you it will tell you the checkpoint created so i'm going to come here and i can see that i have only one checkpoint here so i can go back to checkpoint now the checkpoint basically is like uh, when you play a game and you enter a new level of, of your game or a new map and it will show you that saving checkpoint or checkpoint saved or something like that so later on you can just go back to that level and play it again this is exactly the same so i can save it i can also rename the file click here rename it test 2 whatever you want to rename it and so on you can um, save a checkpoint revert to a checkpoint you can go back to a certain checkpoint you can print preview which is you can see the jupyter notebook file as the way it was printed just like print preview in microsoft word that this one is very useful here which is download as and here you guys can see that we have html latex markdown ip and b and you can also export it as a pdf and as a py file now for the rest i'm not going to show you but the py is if you're using pycharm or VS Code or any other Python editor. So this will be helpful for you. And if you want to print this file as a PDF, you want to send it to your professor and so on, you can just do it from here. You can also, uh, usually you can also, uh, you actually will be saving it as a IPYNB, which is interactive Python notebook file. You can just click here and it will download for you the file. But since it's already saved inside your PC, so it's already there but this will be handy if you are using Google Colab okay and then this is a trusted notebook you can close the notebook which means shut down this notebook kernel and close this window it's 
after that you guys click on edit now these are some shortcuts will you will be using it a lot for cut you have x and for copy you have c and for deleting the cells you have d and d you can also split the cell now let me show you how it works and i can just come here and put it as a markdown i can write here let's say hello good bye welcome thanks now i can just come here i'm gonna put this backward slash to make them each in different line so it's come here and i can just go to edit and i can for example here edit split cell and you guys can see that this cell is now two cells like this so we can split the cell we can actually go back and undo it merge cell above which means i'm going to merge this cell with this one put it the way back and it's back okay this will be helpful if you're writing some notes move cell up for example you want to move this cell up here in the middle you click on it in the command mode edit move cell up and now it's in between these two cells i'm going to move it up one more time and it's the first cell now same thing here we have move cell down it's now in between these two cells i'm just going to go back and put it at the beginning like this i'm going to zoom out a little bit okay so you can edit notebook metadata find and replace just like in microsoft word uh, add some attachment and so on uh, view now i can toggle the header which is this one view toggle the header you guys can see now it's gone but i don't want to do that i want it back basically don't just don't play with the view one okay uh, in insert i can insert the cell above or insert cell below so i can just come here and press a and it will add the cell above i can just come here um it's already here so i'm just going to remove it i'm going to come here and write b and it's added the cell here remember to be uh, in the command mode when you use the shortcut or it's not going to work and then we have the cell you can run cells control enter which is the current cell you can run cells and select below you can run cells and insert below and you can run all run all basically means once you're going to download a jupyter notebook file from my course and you want to run the entire code in that file you can just open that jupyter notebook and you click on run all you can run all above you can just come here and click and you write run all above so it's going to run all these and instead of only the down and run all below and so on you can choose a cell which is code and markdown raw nbc is basically you can um, add some functionality when you import export it but we're not going to use it that much so i'm not going to explain it so the most common one is the code or markdown which is we'll be using it a lot and you can just toggle here the rest of the stuff we're not going to play around now here in the kernel we can actually interrupt the kernel if it's taking a lot of time to run the code you can restart the kernel now if you have a low end pc um, and you're doing some heavy stuff calculating and machine learning and deep learning or whatever you want doing sometimes your kernel is going to hang so it's just like your pc when your pc gets stuck what do you do you restart your pc so here if your um, jupyter notebook is um, malfunctioning or it's not running some code you can just go to the kernel and you restart and it's going to restart the kernel you can restart and clear the output like this is the output you want to restart the kernel and clear all the output for you you can restart and run all which means restart for me the kernel and then run the entire jupyter notebook for me Run, reconnect to the kernel shut down the kernel change the kernel now for you you're supposed to have only one kernel which is for python 3 but for me i i already downloaded for my r course so i have two kernels here okay so i can just change the kernel to r and start writing code in r for widgets basically widgets are like plugins so you can download some widgets and stuff but for 
now we're not going to use it help you will find a lot of keyboard shortcuts here like for example keyboard shortcuts and you can see all the keyboard shortcuts you have here i'm using windows so it's showing me a windows keyboard shortcut if you're using mac it will show you the mac keyboard shortcut this was a quick overview of the menus on jupyter notebook and i will see you in the next video Thank you.